Hello everyone and welcome to Unhow channel, the place where every day you learn something new. My name is Anas and I'm working for you, so if you have any tutorial requests, let me know, I'd be happy to do a video for you. Otherwise, let's get to our tutorial today, which is how you can find the WordPress plugins that was used in a website, which is similar to my previous video basically on how you can find WordPress themes that was used in a website. And without any more talking, let's get to it. So for example, if you did find out a website that has some features or some layout or something that can be used by installing a WordPress plugin and you want to figure out which WordPress plugin that was used in that website so you can install it on your website too and has the same feature or layout that you want to do. And to be honest, there is a lot of websites that can help you do that by just giving it the URL and it will scan the website and it will tell you the WordPress plugins that was used in that website. But as you know, I always support the independent way without using any tools or anything because you will know how the WordPress structure works and it's much easier and you can do it by yourself so let's get to it in this demonstration I will do the same thing in my previous video which is I will use some Google queries to find out a website a random website and we will pick it to do demonstration on it so let's just do that by just accessing the Google search engine I'm going to type in the first query which is in URL two dots and two quotation marks and between the quotation marks I will type in two backslashes and between them I will type in w dash content wp sorry dash content and I will add another query just to filter out the big websites because those big websites have their own plugins they don't use the the public available plugins so I will add another query which is in text two dots and two quotation marks and between them I will add a keyword for example I'm really hungry right now to be honest so I will type in burger and hit enter and as you can see a bunch of websites here let's just go for the third one which is the meatmanagement.com and here it is let's just access the home page to make sure it's working fine and here it is as you can see the website it's working completely fine so we want to know all the wordpress plugins that was used in this website to either make the layout like this and add or add the contact page for example there is a lot of reasons why you might want to use a, a third party plugins to, on your wordpress website so the first thing you're going to do is simply right click on the page and click on view page source option right here and if you notice this is really similar to the previous video right because we will use the same trick but instead we will not search for the teams we will search for the plugins so the first thing you're going to do is click on Control f if you are on windows i'm on mac so i'm going to click on command f and it will show you this prompt at the top right screen right here simply click on it and type in backslash plugins backslash just like you see on the screen right now and as you can see it did already highlight some links there and if it did that means that those links are for the plugins that was used in this particular website so let's just zoom in on them to check them out as you can see the first one says cookie low.info so you can just right click copy and let's just access google search engine and paste in the url here and remove everything and keep only the name for the plugin which is cookie low.info as you can see already says the wordpress plugin and here it is this is the plugin that was used in this particular website so let's just go check the the other ones the second one which is monarch the third one dv builder and dv builder is a a website builder for wordpress and jetpack jetpack is for the optimization and google analytics as you can see so you can check your google analytics just from a wordpress web uh, wordpress dashboard sorry and again dv builder so i guess this is the only plugins that was used in this particular website and there is another one actually a pop-up maker group and also image source control yes this is the only ones that was used and that was really easy right so that's how you know which wordpress plugins that was used in a particular website and as i said i'm working for you guys so if you have any tutorial requests or anything just let me know in the comments i will be happy to do a video for you otherwise i think my job it is done and thanks for watching and catch you on next one